The emerging middle class has become a critical part of the economic and social fabric in China and Africa. Here to share insight on how the nouveau riche can create long-lasting wealth, Clifford Swan, Senior Investment Advisor, and Linda Davis-Taylor. So, Linda, what's the number one mistake those who shoot up the social ladder make? Here in the United States, we have a phrase that we uh, have begun using called shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves in three generations. And it's actually been translated around the world, so I thought it might be a good way to introduce this conversation. And what that means is that in many cases, families find that in three generations, the wealth actually declines no matter how much is made in the lifetime, unless families have a strategic plan to think about their families with just as much focus and discipline as they do their uh, money, then the wealth will decline. So we believe strongly that the two are, go hand in hand, the family strategy and the uh, financial strategy. In reading your book, you really talk about how to bring that strategy about, right? So you want people to treat their wealth as they would a business. Tell me, what gets lost in emotion when families do begin discussing money? I think the first challenge is many times we find that people don't discuss it because it's a fearful topic. It is an emotional topic. And so when I decided to tackle this topic, I thought, you know, let's have everyone think about this the way they would their business. If an entrepreneur starts a company, she or he knows that they need more than a dream they need more than an idea, that they really have to have a detailed plan. And that really starts with the mission. And so families, even though it may be a little unusual to think about it, families need to think about their mission or their purpose uh, side by side with creating the money. Now, we're obviously in a period of great market influx. Doesn't matter whether you're talking about you know, securitized debt or beyond. Tell me, how can families sort of transcend periods of instability as we're in right now? The one thing, again, thinking about families who have been involved with these processes and challenges for generations, they know that things are constantly going to change in our economic environments, in our investment environments. So they're quite forward looking in their plans and they really take a conservative view. It may seem counterintuitive for those that uh, have so much wealth or conservative, but they are conservative with respect to their overall asset allocation and actually they're conservative with their spending. So always knowing that the way they will be able to survive the inevitable ups and downs in the market, no matter what your investment strategy is, is to have things balanced in their family wealth so that they have that cushion. They always know that they can weather uh, the ups and downs and structure their investments uh, according to their own comfort level. Again, back to the, knowing their philosophy, that's a good companion with their investment philosophy, their family philosophy and their investment philosophy. Mm -hmm.